Can we go, B2? As high as the sky, B1. Whee! Gosh, Morgan, you gave us a fright. Sorry, bananas. I'm trying out my roar. See, I'm a big bear now, and that's what big bears do. They roar. Big bear? Roar! Will be great for our teddy bears picnic. Talking of teddy bears, where's Morgan today? <laughs> Amy, Lulu. Oh, what's wrong, bananas? Uh, we know where Morgan is, and he's not a teddy anymore. He's not a teddy. Look <laughs> out! Boots and jellies. Why did you do that, Morgan? I can't help having a big roar. Morgan's a big bear now. A big bear. A big bear, like in my big bear book. Oh, those big bears. I want to be big and strong just like them. But we're not big bears, Morgan. We're teddies. That's right. We're teddy bears. And I want to be more like a bear and less like a teddy. <laughs> We like Morgan as a teddy. If he's a big bear, he mightn't play with us anymore. Don't worry, Bananas. It's just one of Morgan's funny ideas. He'll soon get tired of being a big bear. Are you sure, Lulu? Positive. <laughs> oh, Morgan! you got to be careful with a big bear around. We have a problem. A big bear problem. But how do we solve it? Hmm. We need a plan. Now for a big bear snack. There's nothing to eat in here for a big bear. If you really want to be a big bear, you'll have to go down to the river. The river? Why? It's like the big bears in your book. When big bears are hungry, they catch fish in rivers. Uh... Are you sure they do that? It's in the book, isn't it? So if you're a big bear, you'll have to do that too. I'm a big bear, so that's what I'll do. I'm going down to the river. Can Morgan really do that? Catch fish with his hands? I don't think so. Then why are you telling him to do it? We want Morgan to see that he can't be a big bear. Then he'll go back to being a teddy again. Oh! If you're worried, you could keep an eye on him while we get the picnic ready. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's, it's look after Morgan time! If a big bear can catch fish in a river, so can I. Here, yeah, little fishy. We'll just watch, B2. And make sure Morgan doesn't get into any trouble, B1. Aha! Right, fishy. Stand by to be caught. Huh? Uh, what? Uh, stop being tricky, will you? <laughs> I think it's Big Bear Rescue time, B2. Right, B1. We're coming, Morgan! Look out, Bananas! <laughs> oh, Bananas. Sorry, Morgan. Uh, what? Uh, what? S -s Something. <laughs> Tickling us! <laughs> a fish! We've made a new friend, B2. A tickling new friend, B1. Oh, this is terrible. Teddy bears get tickled, but not big bears. Should we keep watching him, B2? I think we should, B1. Otherwise, he might get into more big bear trouble. Oh, I'm so hungry. I couldn't catch a fish. There must be something else a big bear eats. Aha! Big bears eat honey. And I know where to find some. We know too. Amy's beehive. <laughs> the 
there's honey in there for a big bear. Don't do it, Morgan. The bees only let Amy take honey. They'll be upset if you take some. Very upset. A big bear's not afraid of little bees, Bananas. Just watch. A big bear is harder than I thought, and I'm still hungry. <gasps> Picnic food. Oh, it's just what I need. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on. Big bear. This picnic is for teddies and their friends, not for big bears. No big bears? You don't have to be a big bear, Morgan. You can be a teddy again. No, I want to be a big bear, and a big bear I'll be. Where are you going, big bear? Tired. I'm going to my room for a nap. Hang on. You can't do that. Why not? Our house is just for teddies to live in. Big bears are too scary to have inside. If you want to be a big bear, then you'll have to find a big bear home. Like what? Like a big dark cave. A cave? Or you could become a teddy again. Hmm. Then you could use your room to sleep in and come to the teddy bear's picnic. No. If big bears live in caves, then I'll live in a cave too. Morgan can't live in a cave. <laughs> it's okay, Bananas. Morgan will soon find out he can't live in a cave. <laughs> then he'll definitely want to be a teddy again. Maybe, but I still think we should keep watching him, B2. So do I, B1. Good idea, Bananas. And then you can bring him back and all join us for the picnic. Right. It's Big Bear time again. I and Lulu don't think I can be a Big Bear, but I'll show them that I can. Where will I find a cave? I know. I'll make one. <laughs> Are you in there, Bananas? No. Yes, you are. What are you doing? Uh, what were we doing, B2? We were... We were just checking this box to see if it was any good. B1! B2! It's picnic time! Come and join us! Coming, Teddies! Uh, but what about you, Morgan? We don't want to leave you on your own. I'm all right, Bananas. Big bears don't get into any trouble. As long as you're sure, Morgan. Positive. Call us if you do get into any trouble. This big bear has no troubles. Let's check out my cave. Ah, this is going to be great. I'm really a big bear now. Uh-oh. This picnic is pyjama-rific. But I wish Morgan was with us. We do too, Bananas. Just wait. He'll soon become his teddy self again. But right now, it's games time! Banana-tastic! There must be something around here for a big bear to eat. <laughs> I know that sound. Somebody's playing games. They are playing games. Oh, and look at all that food. It looks so delicious. Morgan's watching us. <laughs> Time for the next bit of our plan. Let's play Teddy Bear Says. Banana-tastic. We love Teddy Bear Says. But Morgan is always the teddy bear. Hmm, we can't play it without Morgan. They're playing my favourite party game. If Morgan's not here, we'll just have to find someone else. Wait up, everyone. I'll play Teddy Bear Says. It's Morgan! So you'll be a teddy again? Uh, only for a little while. Just for the game. So let's play! Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> teddy Bear Says, spin around. <laughs> teddy Bear Says, touch the ground. <laughs> teddy Bear Says, hop about. <laughs> Teddy Bear says, twist and shout. Whee! Teddy Bear says, run a lot. <laughs> Teddy Bear says, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That was great! <laughs> Thanks, Morgan. I guess you can go back to being a big bear now. Oh, all right. I guess I will then. Only if you really want to. Or you could stay and join us for our really scrumptious picnic. And be our friend again! Well, maybe I could stay. And be a teddy again? I guess so. Hooray! Morgan's back! Just a minute, Bananas. How do we know it's really Morgan the Teddy and not Morgan the Big Bear? <laughs> we know a Teddy test. What sort of test is that? Big Bears don't like tickling. But Teddies love tickling. Tickle time! <laughs> Is he passing the teddy test, B2? He's definitely passing it, B1. Morgan's a real teddy bear! <laughs> oh, cheese and whiskers. Cleaning up is such hard work. I'm exhausted already. Good morning, Rat. Would you like to come to the park and play? Oh, thank you for asking, Bananas, but I'm afraid I'm much too busy to play. Too busy? Oh, yes. There's so much junk to clean out of my shop. Did you hear that, B1? Poor Rat B2. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's, it's helping Rat time! Would you like a hand, Rat? Oh, Bananas, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Follow me. Keep up the good work, Bananas. We're almost done. We'll do, Rat. I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm a clever, clever rat. <laughs> One bike with a bent wheel. And some old garden pots. And a bag full of... these funny stick things. Maybe they're back scratchers, B1. Or walking sticks, B2? Oh, no, Bananas. They aren't sticks. They're golf clubs. Golf clubs? You use them to play golf. What's golf, Rat? It's a marvellous game. I used to play quite a bit. You hit the golf ball with the golf club. Try it. After you, B1. Oh, thank you, B2. And one and two and hit. <laughs> this Golf is trickier than it looks, B2. Much trickier, B1. Here, you try, B2. Thank you, B1. And a one and a two and a hit. Oh, good hit, B2. Look out! Allow me to demonstrate. Ah! For what, Rat? Well, that's what you always yell before you hit the ball. Why? Well, to warn people to get out of the way, of course. Ah! Oh, no! Poor rat! He hit the ball down the rabbit hole. <laughs> no, bananas. That's the whole point of the game. It is? A good golfer always hits the ball into the hole. Sounds like a good way to lose a lot of balls, B1. A very good way to lose them, B2. Jeez, <laughs> whiskers, what a cheeky rabbit. Are you all right, Rat? Uh, fine, thanks, Bananas. But you've reminded me just how much I like to play golf. Maybe it's time I started again. I have so many things to buy at Rat's shop today, Dolly. Me too. How peculiar. It appears to be closed. I hope nothing's wrong. Oh! Four? For what? Look out, Camembert! Oh, good grief! Will I never? Never? Ever? Good morning, ladies. Lovely day for a game of golf. Golf, indeed. Just look, Rat. Our dresses are filthy. Well, you're always welcome to buy new ones from my shop. But your shop is closed. Yes, I know. I'm afraid I'm much too busy to open it. Too busy doing what? Well, playing golf, of course. Bye, ladies. Oh, what a naughty rat. One Morgan super special pancake breakfast. Coming up. Mm, thanks, Morgan. Oh, these pancakes look delicious. That just sounded like rat. 
for one. Oh! What was that? Someone hit a ball right through our kitchen window. And ruined my beautiful pancakes. <laughs> Not just any ball, a golf ball. Golf? It's my favourite sport. You must all have a game with me one day. Uh, cheerio, Teddies. An automatic mud maker? That sounds like a great invention, Charlie. <laughs> it would make your pig pen muddy all year round. Just the way you like it. Mmm, that sounds fantastic. Four! Four? Look out! <laughs> Good morning, Pedro. Oh, thank you so much, Pedro. Good morning, Charlie. Four! Oh, oh, and, and Charlie? Yes, Rat? You really should have a bath, you know. You're very dirty. Oh, greetings, Charlie. What a splendid day for a walk. Run, Bernard. Run! Oh! Yeah. I hope we can find somewhere safe to play. Somewhere away from Rat's golf. Are you coming, Morgan? Golf balls don't worry me. Morgan? What are you wearing? It's my special golf ball protector suit. It looks like a saucepan and a pillow. It is. But now I can go out and play and not worry about golf balls anymore. Oh! Look out! I don't need to worry. Ow! Morgan, are you all right? Uh, see, I didn't feel a thing. My head. This is terrible. You're right, Amy. We have to do something. Look, B1. Everyone's outside Rat's shop. And they don't look very happy, B2. We have to tell Rat that enough is enough. It's not safe to walk in the park. Or even leave our homes. And now his shop's always shut. And we can't buy what we need. But you know the worst thing of all? What? We can't play outside anymore. It's no fun doing anything with all these golf balls flying around. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's talk to Rat even sooner time. Where could he be, B1? We've looked everywhere, B2. Do you see who I see, B1? I do, B2. <laughs> Hello, Rat! Jeez and whiskers, Bananas. You should never talk to a golfer when he's about to hit the ball. You put me right off. Sorry, Rat, but we need to talk to you. In a moment, Bananas. Now, where was I? Look, B2. Rat's car is rolling away. Uh, Rat. Not now, Bananas. But your car. Shh. But Rat. For the last time, not while I'm playing my shot. Now, what is it so important? Your car's heading for the river. No! <laughs> oh! Well, it looks like good news and bad news, right? Don't tell me the good news. Charlie says your car will be fine. And the bad news? All your clubs are broken. Oh, no. I'll never play golf again. Poor rat. You really did love playing golf. But you can't hit a ball very far with only half a club. Hmm. But what if you didn't have to hit it very far? What do you mean, Charlie? I mean, <laughs> it's time for a new invention. And I'll need your help, Bananas. And the teddies, too. Thank you again for shopping at Rats, ladies. Come back any time. We're all so pleased to see you in your shop again, Rat. Very pleased indeed. Sadly, I wish I could say the same. Hello, Rat. How are you today? Oh, I'm all right, Bananas. But I do miss my golf games. Then come with us. We've got a surprise for you. Not far now, Rat. Really, Bananas? Is this blindfold necessary? Where are you taking me? Are you ready for your surprise? I suppose so. I do hope it'll be worth all this trouble. Here we go. 
Surprise! Oh, cheese and whiskers. Watch this. Cuddlestown's new golf course. Cuddlestown's new little golf course. Well, you don't have to hit the ball very far at all. So you can use your broken clubs and still have lots of fun. My, oh my, what a brilliant idea. Oh, thank you, Bananas. Actually, it was Charlie's idea. But the Bananas and Teddy's helped me make it. So now you can play golf and keep your shop open. And we can all be safe. How wonderful. Oh, what marvellous friends you are. Have a shot, Rat. <laughs> I don't mind if I do. Look, everybody. I got a hole in one. Hooray! I think I'm going to like this new golf course very much indeed. <laughs> Apart from that extremely cheeky rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lovely day for a walk, B1. It certainly is, B2. Bananas! Oh! What is it, Rat? I was just wondering if you wanted to buy anything from my shop. Uh, do we, B1? I don't think so, B2. Are you sure? Nothing at all? Not today, thanks, Rat. Oh, cheese and whiskers. All right, then. Does Rat look a bit sad to you, Bananas? He does, Lulu. I wonder why. Why don't we go and ask him? Ah, customers at last! Now, what would you like to buy? We're not here to buy anything. You're not? We just wondered why you looked so sad. Uh, well, I'm not selling much at the moment. We're sorry to hear that, Rat. Cuddles Town just doesn't get many visitors, so I don't get many customers. I wish we could help. Perhaps we need something special, Rat. A special tourist attraction. Yes! Oh, good idea, Lulu. But what kind of tourist attraction? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. What, what we, we need, need is a big thing. A big thing, Bananas? What on earth is a big thing? Look, when we went on holidays, we visited the big strawberry, the big carrot, and our favourite, the big munchy honey cake. Oh, what a great idea, Bananas. Well, let's call a town meeting to discuss it. Oh, quick, Bananas, can you go and tell everyone? No problem, Rat. <laughs> Quiet, everyone. Now, the Bananas have already told you about our big idea of building a big thing in Cuddles Town. And here's what we should build. A big cheese. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> a big cheese? Excuse me, Rat, but I think it should be a big bone, like this. Well, I think a big flower would be much prettier. Why not a big ballet shoe? How about a big football? Or a big robot? Oh, cheese and whiskers, quiet everyone! Oh, how are we ever going to decide what to build when everyone has a different idea? Well, since the bananas were the ones who thought of this, perhaps they should decide what to build. Uh, here's my idea, bananas! And here's mine! And mine! And mine! So, which one do you choose? Hmm? Um, um well, well, we, we, we... Need more time to think. Yes, can we tell you tomorrow? Oh, very.
very well. We'll come back tomorrow to hear the banana's decision. Meeting adjourned! What are we going to do, B1? Everybody wants their idea to win. But we can only choose one. Which means most of our friends will be unhappy. Oh, dear. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's let's do all the ideas time. I wonder which idea the bananas will choose. I can't wait to find out. Well, bananas, what's your decision? Well, Rat, it's a bit hard to explain. So we put together a picture to show you all. Ta-da! What is that? It doesn't look like anything at all. That's because it's bits of everyone's idea. All put together. See, there's a bit of the big bone. A bit of the big flower. A bit of the big ballet shoe. And a bit of the big cheese. Isn't, Isn't it pyjama rific Well, it, it's certainly unusual. Uh, and very interesting. What are you going to call it, Bananas? The, the Big Thing! Hmm, how very inventive of you, Bananas. I like it. Well, now that's decided, I think the Bananas should start building this big thing right away. Uh, did you know we had to build it, B1? I didn't know it at all, B2. Ah, Bananas, this is the perfect spot for the big thing, don't you think? Definitely, Rat. And we'll have it built in no time. Excellent. I'll leave you to it, Bananas. Ready, B1? All set to go, B2. Sorry, Topsy, you can't. No one's allowed to see the big thing till it's finished. Well, why don't you take a break, Bananas? I made you some lovely fruit salad. Ooh, fruit salad? We love fruit salad. Thanks, Topsy. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Yummy. Mm. It looks good. But it needs a few extra touches. Can you hear something, B1? I think that's just me chewing, B2. There. That's better. Thanks, Thanks Topsy. Topsy. No problem, Bananas. Bye. Does it look different to you, B1? It seems more like a flower, B2. Oh, oh well. well. Excuse me, Bananas. Can I come in? Sorry, Bernard. No one's allowed in till it's finished. Oh, uh, then would you like to take a break, Bananas? I've made you some soup. Ooh, soup. We love soup. Thanks, Bernard. Mmm, mm. mm, not bad. And a few small changes will make it even better. Do you hear a noise, B1? I think that's just my slurping, B2. Thanks, Bernard. My pleasure, Bananas. Bye. That's funny. Now it's more like a bone, B2. Oh, well. Bananas! Can I have a look? Sorry, Amy. No one can see till it's finished. And if you've brought food, we're already full. That's a pity, Bananas, because I made you some munchy honey cakes. Ooh, honey cakes? We love honey cakes. Thanks, Amy. Yum! Hmm, a few little changes and it'll be perfect. There's that noise again, B1. I think that's the honey cakes going into my tummy, B2. Thanks, Amy. You're welcome, Bananas. It looks different again, B1. Now it's more like a ballet shoe, B2. Oh, well, back to work. How's it going, Bananas? All, All finished, finished, Rat. Ooh, can I have a peek, Bananas? Sorry, Rat. You'll see it tomorrow at the big opening. 
Oh, yes, of course. Hmm. No one's going to know if I sneak just a teensy wincy look. Oh, jeez, and whiskers. What on earth? Oh, this isn't what I wanted at all. Perhaps I should make a few minor improvements. Isn't this exciting? I wonder what it would look like, Rat. Yes, I wonder. Hello, everyone. We hope you'll be pleased with how it turned out. Oh, I'm very pleased. Ready, B1? All set, B2. Now! now. <gasps> Here it is, everyone. Cuddlestown's new big... Oh, congratulations, Bananas. Well done. But that isn't like the picture you showed us, Bananas. It's just... A cheese! Yeah, that was Rat's idea, nobody else's! How could you build that without telling us, Bananas? But... but we didn't build this! The big thing we built was all the ideas mixed together! We don't understand what's happened! Hmm, I think somebody here knows what happened. Don't they, Rat? Who? Oh, me? Well, perhaps I did make some slight changes. See, isn't it wonderful? You changed it without asking the bananas? It should be what the bananas built. That's right, Rat. You changed it, now change it back again. It's too late to change it now. The plaster's already set. Look! <gasps> oh, dear! <laughs> After all our work, we just ended up with a big mess, B1. A very big mess, B2. Oh, I'm sorry, Bananas. It's all my fault. I should never have interfered. And now we don't have any big thing at all. What are we going to do? Hmm. I've got an idea for a different kind of big thing. You do, Lulu? Yes. And I think Rat should build it all on his own. Oh. Cheese and whiskers. <sighs> All right, it's ready. Good work, Rat. And Amy. Here it is, everyone. The big welcome. Oh, it's a marvellous painting, Amy. Beautiful. Thanks, everyone. Lulu was right. A welcome is the best big thing we can ever give visitors. Now we just need to take a photo. So everyone, get in front of the sign. I'm starting the timer now. Quick, everybody, smile! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> Look, B2, there's nothing inside Kevin the Incredible's hat. Now he's putting the hat on his head, B1. Alakazoom! Alakazam! And look what's on his head! A white rabbit! Kevin the Incredible is amazing, B1! He's more than amazing, B2! He's... Incredible! incredible! How about a game of hide and seek, B1? Good idea, B2! I'll hide and you seek! Wait, B1! What's wrong, B2? Look! It's Morgan! You're right, B2. Why don't we sneak up and surprise him? Good thinking, B1. And now I'm going to make this handkerchief disappear. Oh, he's doing magic, B1. Alakazoom! Alakazam! And it's gone! <gasps> but wait, what's this in my pocket? My handkerchief! No, lots of handkerchiefs! That was wonderful, Morgan. We didn't know you could do magic tricks. Oh, hi, Bananas. I... Can you show us another trick? Oh, sorry, Bananas, but I don't like doing magic in front of anyone. Well, anyone except rocks. Why not, Morgan? I get too nervous. But, Morgan, you don't have to be nervous. You're a pyjama rific magician. As good as Kevin the Incredible. Oh, Kevin the Incredible's my hero. And you can be just like him. <sighs> Sorry, Bananas. I can never do it. What a pity Morgan's too nervous to show anyone his tricks, B1. I wish there was something we could do to help him, B2. Hmm, 
What if Morgan had some proper magician's clothes to wear? That might help, but where could he get magician's clothes? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. We can get them at Rat's shop. Magician's clothes. <laughs> Here they are. What do you think, Bananas? They're perfect, Rat. They look just like Kevin the Incredibles. Kevin the what? The Incredible. He's a magician in our favourite magazine. <laughs> Morgan! Morgan! <laughs> Oopsie! Morgan isn't here, B1. I wonder where he's gone, B2. All right, Rox, ready for another trick? Hmm. That's funny. Magician's clothes. <gasps> They're exactly like the clothes Kevin the Incredible wears. Must be here in Cuddlestown. I have to find him. Topsy, have you seen Kevin the Incredible anywhere? I've seen him in a magazine, Morgan. Is that what you mean? No, Topsy. He's in town. <gasps> in town? Really? Bernard, have you seen Kevin the Incredible anywhere? Uh, what does he look like, Morgan? Like a magician. I'll try Rat's shop. Everyone goes there. Rat! Rat! <laughs> oh, 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 it's you, Morgan. Has Kevin the Incredible been here? Sorry? He left his clothes in the park. Haven't I seen that cape and hat before? You've probably seen Kevin wearing them in magazines. I remember. The bananas were in here earlier talking about this Kevin the Impossible and... The bananas were talking about him? Then they must know where he is. Uh, uh, Morgan, wait! The bananas bought those clothes for you! Oh, cheese and whiskers. Now Morgan's off on a wild goose chase. Hmm. I feel an idea coming on. I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm a clever, clever rat. It's no good, B1. The clothes have disappeared. Maybe they vanished in a puff of smoke, B2. They are magician's clothes after all. What's all that noise, B1? <laughs> Charlie! What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Just who I was looking for. Charlie's building a stage and needs help. What's the stage for, Charlie? For tonight's magic show. Kevin the Incredible is performing. Kevin the Incredible is here? That's incredible! <laughs> oh, it is, isn't it? We'll help you build the stage, Charlie. We love building. <laughs> Actually, Bananas, I think I can finish this on my own. Why don't you go and tell everyone about tonight's show and that entry is just one honey cake each? We can do that, Rat. Let's go! <laughs> and make sure you tell Morgan! Lulu! Amy! Kevin the Incredible's performing in the park tonight! And it costs just one honey cake to see him! Kevin the Incredible? <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Look, B1, Morgan's at our house. I've been looking everywhere for you. Have you seen Kevin the Incredible? Not yet, but we will soon. He's putting on a show in the park tonight! I knew he was in town. You, you knew? knew? I found his clothes in the park. Look! Uh, you found those in the park? Yes, Kevin must have left them there by mistake. I have to find him. He'll need these for the show. One honey cake each, everyone. Thank you, Dolly. And you too, Camembert. Oh, isn't this exciting, Amy? I love magic shows, Lulu. Hello, Morgan. Bananas. Uh, I see you still have those clothes, Morgan. I couldn't find Kevin anywhere. Actually, Morgan... He must be backstage getting ready for the show. I'll give them to him now. Oh, jeez and whiskers. What am I going to do? What's wrong, Rat? Where's Kevin the Incredible? Kevin isn't coming. He's not. He's too busy. Oh, that's terrible. What's even worse is that everyone is expecting a magic show. And when they find out there isn't one, they'll never forgive me. But there must be something we can do. Oh, the only thing that could save me is if someone else could put on a magic show. Someone else? Oh, I ruined. Well, 
There is someone. Really? Who? Me. You? Except I've never performed in front of an audience before. Oh, you can do it, Morgan. I know you can. Oh, gee, I don't know, Rat. Oh, thank you, Morgan. I'll never forget this. Um, <clears throat> sorry, everyone, but I'm afraid Kevin the Incredible can't be here tonight. That's bad news, B1. But as a replacement, I found a wonderful magician right here in Cuddlestown. A magician? In Cuddlestown? So please welcome Morgan the Magnificent. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm uh, Morgan the, you know. I thought Morgan only knew a little bit of magic. For, the, for my first trick, I'm going to turn my wand into a bunch of flowers. Alakazoom! Alakazam! <gasps> Thank you! Uh, but I need my wand for my next trick, so... Alakazam! Alakazoom! Yay! Thank you! He's good, B1. Very good, B2. And now for my last trick. Alakazoom, Alakazam! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you, everyone. Bravo! Bravo! Oh, you are amazing, Morgan. You're, You're the, the best. best. Oh, thanks. But there's still one thing I don't understand. What's that, Morgan? Who do these clothes belong to? They're yours, Morgan. They're our present to you. Wow! Thanks, Bananas! What was that? It sounds like Rat! I don't believe it! What is it, Rat? The rabbit Morgan pulled from his hat is eating all my honey cakes! Oh, never mind, Rat. We still have our honey cakes. And we have ours, too. Oh, excellent. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll take them, if I may. Uh, Rat? Seeing as how Morgan helped you out by standing in for Kevin the Incredible, shouldn't he get some of the honey cakes too? Well... And I'd like to give some honey cakes to the bananas for giving me my magic clothes. Uh, yes, but... And we'd like to share with Amy and Lulu because they're our friends. But how many will that leave me? One! One. Oh, oh, all my hard work! Okay. Oh,